Did you know your, your used iPhone could be worth a lot more than you paid for it? Tom Grita joins us now. Dow Jones, Tom Grita, good morning. Good morning. So uh, people, uh, this, is, this is a fascinating story, of course, as the iPhone 5 comes out, people upgrading to the new device maybe don't know that their old device is worth more than they paid for it, correct? That's right, yeah. So when you're buying, most people, they buy their phone under contract. It's heavily subsidized by the carrier. So you're buying a $650 phone, you're paying $200 up front. A year or two later, it's still worth $200. So if people put it in their sock drawer, they could mm -hmm. actually So right now, so, it. and where, where can people sell their used phones? There's a number of sites, and there's, there's more and more launching all the time. You could sell it even back to Apple. Uh, there's a couple independent sites like Gazelle and Nextworth that uh, you go on their site, it's a pretty easy process. And, uh, Very easy. I've done it myself, yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah, basically what you do, you, you click on, you say, this is the kind of device I have. It's, say, an iPhone 4S. It's on AT&T. It's in, quote, good condition or poor condition or great condition. Mm -hmm. And they'll offer you a quote mm -hmm. and then send you a box, right? And then it just kind of, and, and you ship it to them. And what, what kind of That's quotes right. are they offering now for, uh, say, a, a 16 gigabyte 4S? 4S, you can still get above $200 for it. So you paid so more than what you paid for it. Maybe a year ago, you're still yeah, you're still getting two hundred dollars for it. And that quote that you mentioned, it's generally good for up to a month. Okay. So you can make it work so that you can lock in your price and buy your next phone. So they make it pretty easy. And what is the so? And what's behind all this demand? What is it that these folks do with the phones? If they're buying it from you for two fifty, they can sell it for say four hundred. By the way, on eBay, you might be able to sell it yourself for more on eBay. That's right. Right. Well, that's partly why they make the process so easy because they they definitely. Because what do they do be with the phones? Where is this demand coming from? They're going overseas. Most of them are going overseas. It's a volume business. There's a, there's a whole group of wholesalers who are buying and selling these things. It's like a commodity, but a lot of them are going overseas. Okay, a lot of, a lot of to China, really. I mean, they go to, I understand, really to Hong Kong is kind of the clearinghouse for iPhones. Mm -hmm. They packaged these things up, I think, in the fourth quarter of last year. Gazelle bought 150,000 iPhones and shipped them to, to Hong Kong. And, and they, were, they were small. Yeah. They said, they told me at the time. Now, another interesting thing people should be aware of quickly is this is also why theft of smartphones and, and even tablets has, has risen dramatically, isn't it? Sure. Yeah. I mean, they retain a lot of value. There's a lot of demand overseas. There's a big market for these Li devices. Liquid, liquid and, and lucrative secondhand yeah. markets. And so as you know, there have been efforts to try to, to stop this. Tablets is obviously a problem.